Do you think Sean O'Malley would become a better fighter if he changes colors? Changes colors? It's a good question, too. His hair? No. Gender? No gender. Race. Well, it, it, close. Cl that one's closer, though. So which color exactly does he need to change? That one is, that one is up to your discretion. Hmm. That one is not up to me. I mean, I think right now going with cancer awareness, pink, we'll give him that one. If he becomes color pink? He is pink right now. That's the color he's chosen. He is pink? He's chosen pink. The hair or just his skin color? I think it's kind of a mixture. Do you think you could beat Antonio Brown in a fight? That's a great question. He's a awesome. He's just... He's so athletic and fast. Athletic and smart. And fast. He has the brain of a, a dog. He's... <laughs> He has a great brain. He has a special brain behind him, to so high fight IQ as well. Antonio Brown. Yeah. Yeah. And how did you? How does one decide that they know the IQ of Antonio Brown and a dog and compare? Do you when know who's the most successful person on YouTube? Not on YouTube. I don't. know. You don't know Mr. Beast? Oh yeah, I do know that actually. Well, guess what? Did I just did a crazy transition? But this episode, we're actually unveiling the new Mr. Beast bar flavor. So you get to try it live right now. So you said you did a transition. Are you talking about your color? This is the brand new Mr. Beast bar flavor. He made, a, he made a chocolate, okay? So we got the brand new flavor from him before anybody else. We told him we were doing a podcast with you. And he sent this over to us. <laughs> that looks like some tasty chocolate. Yeah, so let me show the camera real quick. That's his company. That looks awesome. Tell me what you think of the taste. Beastables. That's really the, the name of his chocolate company, really. Yeah, that's the one. And then he just released a new flavor, something. It's a big uh, chocolate bar. Mmm. Tasty. Um, I would say what kind of steak. I might give it a try. Oh, it's steak flavored? Yeah. That one is uh, the cheapest from the store possible. Cheapest. But that okay. one is probably $4. 90, did you get this at the 99 cents? <laughs> That's probably the only place my crew can afford that one. But I'm good on that. You don't want to try it? No, no. Why do you think that all the fighters keep telling him to lower the fighter pay? <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like... I haven't heard that. I heard it a lot. There's so many of them. They said that he's not, he's not paying them fairly... They just, he's giving them way too much money. So if they paid him a little bit less, then things would even out, right? That's what they're saying. They're saying that he's giving them way too high of a percentage of yeah. the revenue. Yeah. I mean, what did they, what did the UFC make? Like a, some four billion or so, something? Yeah, billion? something really high. 23 billion. Um, yeah. It, according to the lawsuits, I think that um, the UFC is suing some of the fighters. For oh, they're suing the fighters for money? Yeah, to get... That's a good idea. Yeah, I think they because are. Because the yeah. fighters don't even have any money to hire a lawyer. Smart. That's, that's one of the things I always talk about. I just sue people who don't have money because they, don't, they can't get a lawyer. So they just have to give it up immediately. Yeah. That's smart from the UFC because they have even better lawyers than me. They have the top one in the world. Steps, they're steps ahead. Could you very humbly contribute 5 10 or even $25 to the Trump campaign to fight against crooked Joe Biden? Five ten to go against the campaign of crooked Joe Biden. Um, I would give as much money as you want to that campaign. We want we want to stop him. We want to get on the Trump train and crash right into Sleepy Joe. <laughs> How? How you get on that train? The Trump train is the give him ten dollars. He said. That's it. He said, he "Give him ten dollars. He's gonna give you a little pin in the mail, and you get to be on the train." Interesting. So, how do you straighten out? Somebody like Biden who, I mean, doesn't he use Braille? Who do you think would win in the fight? The chicken or the egg? Man, which came first? The typical question. That's a good question. Again, the chicken or the egg? 
I guess I got to go with the egg because when I go on Twitter, the egg just has no feelings. <laughs> Do you think women should be allowed to fight in UFC? Oh, yeah. What if they're disabled? Then have another disabled woman fighter. They've already had one before. So two disabled women, right? We're talking about fighting? Well, no, no, just one man and one disabled woman. One man, one disabled woman. I guess it depends on the weight. Does the weight, does the woman have a weight advantage? No, the woman is a lightweight or bantam weight, and then it's a light heavyweight man, maybe Jamal Hill. He came on the podcast before, so he will be able to do a good one. Yeah, Hill. I know Hill. Um, I think that he's got a soft heart, so he would let the... No, but he, they said that they'll give him $100 million if he wins. So here's big incentive to Hill. Hill would so Hill would smash the handicapped woman. For, you think he would win that fight for a hundred million? Do you think he will be able to win against handicapped how woman? Much, how much are you giving the handicapped woman? Uh, we will offer her forty bucks. Ah well, could you give her any money before? Well, actually, crooked Joe Biden's um, would probably subsidize her whole camp. Oh, he will. You know what he will do? He'll just raise the taxes on her. I was I was gonna li I was trying to find the question to lead it in correctly, but I messed up the transition. But it's about San Francisco. It's a little bit similar to LA. Do you think they should keep going with the law that pays people to sh in the middle of the street, or do you think they should get rid of that one? Mm, I think um, they should get. I think they should get Gavin Newsom cleaning it. He should clean the shit. Well, just a video for the next political. Um, a, you know, like for the next marketing scheme. Well, that would be... They should have him cleaning up the, the shit so he's giving back to the community and then that would show us that he's about it. You know what I mean? He's I not think that will backfire on him though. Why? Because then it will show people that because of him, people are already sh** in the street. No, they would say he's cleaning everything. But he's, it's only one back. man. And one yeah. man with a messed up brain. Yeah, he can't he's clean all back. that sh**. He's giving back to the community if he cleans. He's it. helping, but have you ever been to San Francisco? No. Oh, it's a disaster over there. Okay. Why do you think there are clouds in the sky? Is it possibly black magic? Um, I think the clouds are... Um, what are those called where they're, they're drawing the lines in the sky? Uh, oh, my gosh. Chemtrails. Oh, chemtrails? I think it's all chemtrails. That's a good theory. By crooked Joe Biden. I think he's lining them up. Joe Biden.